What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Do me a huge favor before we get too deep into this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the slogan. Y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Okay, so MLB The Show uh, will be coming to multiple platforms courtesy of a series of tweets that came out late Monday night, December 10th, 2019. I just want to read to you one of the official tweets that highlight the press release, excuse me, um, that came from the MLB Sony Interactive in the San Diego studio that is part of Sony Worldwide Studios. All right, so this is coming from Chris Creamer of Sports Logos Net. Um, and he's and he Chris says in his tweet just announced baseball video game series MLB. The show will be available on consoles other than just PlayStation for the first time ever as early as 2021. The press release reads as this for immediate release MLB, MLBPA, Sony Interactive Entertainment, and so forth. All the studios that I've mentioned prior. Um, Major League Baseball, MLB, the Major League Baseball Players Association, MLB, PA, Sony Interactive, and San Diego Studio jointly announced today that they have entered a multi-year uh, extension to continue development and distribution of MLB The Show, the award-winning officially licensed video game. Let me let me see if I can, um, there we go. We got that extended a little bit. In addition to historic expansion of the long-standing partnership with the MLB, the show for the first time ever to additional console platforms beyond PlayStation platforms as early as 2021. Complete details will be announced at a later date. San Diego Studio has been creating officially licensed baseball video games enjoyed by millions of fans for more than 20 years with MLB The Show 20, which will feature Chicago Car Cubs star Javier Baez El Mago as its cover athlete. The studio will be commem commemorating the 15th anniversary of MLB The Show's franchise next year through a variety of unique promotions and new game play features. So there you have it, my friends. MLB The Show is coming to multiple platforms. Now, I was doing a um, podcast with Next Gen 720 Big ups to him. Um, definitely sub to his channel. And while we were doing that, this news broke and it became a big discussion point of that podcast. I say that to say this. There are two themes that have come out from this news breaking and I, I want to clear the air. Even though this information is early, there's not a lot of information yet. Um, there may be breaking news by the time this video releases that, you know, will add more to the story. But I at least wanted to discuss to start the discussion here on this channel by saying this two big takeaways from this first and foremost a lot of our playstation brethren like on the show and on social media they've been they don't understand what's going on all right and they're caught off guard by this and they shouldn't have been particularly if they follow this platform which i know not a lot of people have done it but via Next Gen 720's channel, I, I know some other broadband bully members, and particularly Next Gen 720, have told y'all that pretty much the market dictates everything. And the market loves the cross pollination of things like this. So as long as the market thinks this is hot, until it's proven otherwise, you will see a lot of cross pollination happening. Now let me let me explain what I mean by that. Now People, a lot of people are upset about this caught off guard that are PlayStation fans, but let me break it down to you what, what most likely happened until we get further uh, substantiated details. The MLB likely said to Sony, hey, look, man, we're going to extend these contracts to other gamers because if you look at the numbers, it looks like, and these are some rough estimates, it looks like that MLB The Show averages a million a year by selling only on PlayStation, right? And it's a critically acclaimed series. The problem is, you look at other sports games like NBA 2K, Madden, they heavily dwarf, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, MLB The Show, and of course, they're everywhere, right? So, 
when it came time to rene renegotiate contracts, MLB probably said, you know what? We're going to look at other outfits that can also do this, you know? Um, now the old regime would have said, fine. We believe our product is superior. It's critically acclaimed. Go ahead. Well, what, how much is it gonna cost for us to renegotiate our part of this contract? But the new regime under Jim Ryan, as we've been telling you, as we've been telling you, probably said, you know what? We got a better deal, something more lucrative for everybody. Why don't we keep making this critically acclaimed series exclusively in our studio? However, we'll sell it everywhere. And that's likely what happened. So again, PlayStation fans, I implore you, never say never. The biggest thing to any Fortune 500 company, I'm gonna say this at nauseum, the biggest thing to them is not you, I, not even the consumer, it's the investors first. They use the consumers as a catalyst to the investor to say, look, we got something going on where we, we're making money off these people. Follow us, invest in us, and we'll make your dollar grow year over year, okay? So whatever the investment firms or the market feels like is the newest wave, that's what the Fortune 500 companies are gonna follow, period. That's thing number one. Thing number two is, despite all that, and I get a lot of my Xbox brethren out there on social media making fun of the fact that a lot of our PlayStation brethren have been caught off guard with this, this is not a reason to celebrate Xbox. <laughs> this deal has nothing to do with Xbox intervention or this feel Maximus Dominatrix or whatever this, these silly slogans are. This is all MLB and PlayStation and Jim Ryan. This is not just coming to Xbox. This is coming to multiple platforms. So my Xbox brethren, even though I get it that our Sony brethren need a wake up call, curb your enthusiasm. Most of your attention should be focused on waiting on celebrating what Phil does when he brings the caliber of games that his predecessors were even to bring, including Donnie D with all the extra money that he's making, more than all of them. We keep hearing time and time again that Sachi and Nadella and his assistant keep running over the numbers and they're ecstatic. But meanwhile, when Xbox was bleeding money, the lineup was better. So you don't get a win in your column because somebody else is bringing you their stuff, okay? We still need Xbox to deliver the caliber of games that they used to deliver and make uh, come to fruition the fruits of your investments, okay? And they gotta do it beyond Game Pass. I get it that Game Pass is a great deal, but that's Xbox ain't about just old games. They're about new innovative experiences that aren't normal to console, that blow your mind. And we need them to get back to that form. So those are the two things that I wanted to elaborate on because you know how we get in this community. We lose focus and you know how I come. I'm not here to be popular. I'm not here to have the popular opinion. I'm here to give you the truth. And that's what you're gonna get here on this channel all the time. So with that being said, I wanna say one more thing. We're running a raffle or a giveaway rather for all of our Patreon members. You know what I mean? We, we, we now have the PNTS Network Patreon. Follow the link below to become part of that great giveaway. We are giving away a PlayStation 4 Pro and $70 USD for the PlayStation Store. All right? So you don't want to miss that. Follow the link below for details. And with that said, that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below because like I always say, who cares what I think? And with that said, if you did like what I had to say, check out all the links below to follow me. See me on PNTS, Broadband Bullies, HNDC, and yes, the new Stadia dosage. With that said, some food for thought for you guys. You all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.